In this month's video guide to the best digital SLRs on the market, I'll be taking a look at the Sony Alpha 850, Sony's second full frame digital SLR. At the moment, the guideline price is just under £2,000, but once this camera hits the high street, it's expected to retail in direct competition to the D700 and the 5D Mark II. It may even be cheaper. If you've checked out the impressive Sony Alpha 900, then the first thing that you'll notice about the A50 is that it looks almost identical. Aside from the A50 logo on the front and a slightly different finish to the body, the design and layout is pretty much the same. The similarities in design are also reflected in the specifications, with the same full frame 24.6 megapixel Exmor CMOS sensor, dual bioons image processors and quality 3 inch LCD on the back. When the 24.6 megapixel 900 was released, it caused quite a bit of excitement, being the first affordable digital SLR to offer over 20 megapixels. That pixel count is still impressive, with only the 5D Mark II coming close with 21.1 megapixels. The real differences come when you look at the frame rate, which was reduced from 5 frames per second to 3, and the viewfinder, which has a 98% rather than 100% coverage. However, this 2% loss is unnoticeable in real terms, and the viewfinder is still one of the brightest on the market. The 850's image quality is excellent, delivering punchy contrast, colours and exposure. This really isn't surprising, seeing as the Alpha 850 utilises the same image sensor and processor as the 900. Taking a look at the 850 as a camera in its own right, the design and build are excellent, with the lightweight aluminium chassis supporting the inner workings. These are further protected by the tough magnesium alloy body. Sony has ensured that all controls and buttons are sealed against dust and moisture, and as a result, the camera stands up against the elements and meets the demands of the serious photographer. Unsurprisingly, button layout is also identical to the 900, and just as easy to navigate. The attention to detail from Sony when it comes to usability is fantastic, and definitely wins points over its rivals, the 5D Mark II and D700, when it comes to quickly accessing functions. The rear LCD is ultra clear with photo quality 921,000 dot resolution. This also displays an intelligent preview when the depth of field preview is pressed. This displays the image in frame and enables you to make adjustments to correct the exposure before you shoot. The intelligent preview isn't anywhere near as useful as the live view, which the A50 sadly lacks, leaving you with a feeling that you might as well have taken the shot, viewed the preview and then adjusted the settings if needed. Sony's lower end models, the 550 and 380, both have fantastic live view features, as do the 850's rivals, the 5D Mark II and the D700. Sony has incorporated clever anti-shake technology, steady shot inside, into the body rather than the lenses. The anti-shake system works incredibly well, enabling you to shoot at much smaller apertures with lower ISOs than you would be able to without the technology in place. This is especially useful for wildlife and sport. The ISO values range from 200 to 3200 and can be extended to 100 and 6400. When it comes to focusing on your subjects, the Alpha 850 has a 9 point centre dual cross autofocus system with 10 focus assist points. Control of these is accessed quickly using the function button to display and adjust your desired focus points. The Quick Navi display has been well thought out and enables you to see and change your camera settings as well as select other shooting functions such as the range optimizer and the 13 different creative shooting styles. The Alpha 850 is much the same as the Alpha 900, just with a reduced frame rate and less of viewfinder coverage. Unlike the 900, you also have to buy the remote as an optional extra. These downgrades in performance and features are reflected in the price, and in the high street it should be the cheapest full frame digital SLR on the market yet. As you would expect, when it comes to pure image quality, the 24.6 megapixel Alpha 850 produces excellent images, full of detail and tone, which are every bit as good, if not better, than its rivals. The Alpha 850 is a quality camera, solidly built with excellent image quality. It's just surprising that the noise issues at the higher ISOs haven't been addressed since the release of the 900, and that there are no live view or video features. The price point and the full frame sensor mean you have to compare it with the Canon 5D Mark II and Nikon's D700, both of which are lower in megapixels but still have the edge when it comes to finish in both build and features.